Hello Live Wires, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I'm going to make a witch's cauldron with 20 gauge tarnish resistant brass. I'll start by bending the wire for the feet. So we're going to start about in the middle and bend that one down and then bend that one down. And I'm going to just make the feet fancy. So we're going to get our round pliers, bring that one around and this one too. We're going to bring that one around and then we just want to make it a little bit smaller in the circle so we're just going to bring that one around and this one too you can go back and forth from each side and then you can get your smallest pliers and bring it around and this one too just bring it around so that can be the little fancy feet and then you want to bring this one straight up and this one too we're going to bring it straight up this part should be more curved so curve it around and then bend one of these out like that and one of these out like that so from here we can curve it out again with the marker this one too bring it around and then we could just bend this out a little bit. Same on this side. Bend it out. And I'm just going to bend this one over just to give a little bit the impression of making it three dimensional. Over here, just curve it around. And here we can just bend this one around. Clip it. Pinch it in. We're going to hold this in place. And then we're going to bring this one over and through. So that will just hold in place there. Give that a pinch, bring that up. And now we want to form the handle. Sometimes it works just to get a marker. From here, we can just pop that and in here make it about the height you want and then just bring this one around to secure it in place clip it and pinch it so i have some 22 gauge wire that i'm going to add the beads so i want to do like a row of beads across there to be like the surface and so i'm going to take these pearls and i'm going to put them in here and i'm going to wind the wire around okay so there's one we want to vary the size so there's a four millimeter we'll do a six millimeter and if you want another underneath you could bring this one around again we'll do another six millimeter here and then you're going to get this and see if that's enough of the pearls. Looks good. So you want this to go straight across. So I'm going to put this in here and wind this around. Once and then over this side. It's actually better to wind it towards the top. So we're going to bring that one around there. Pull it tighter if you want it wound more bring it around a couple of times. I'm going to pull this back. And wind it going towards the top. And wind it two or three times so it's not going to slide all over the place. So I'm actually going to bring this one back under here, wind it around to kind of catch these wires a little bit and then go to the next one and wind it around there and you're going to see why so we're going to bring this one up going up and I'm going to get another four millimeter bead we want this one to be sticking up a little bit more hold it a little above those beads and then go around a couple of times like to the front 
and then the back, and then we're gonna actually stick it through these two. So we'll bring it through here, stick it up, and if these are slipping, you can pinch them in place. And here too, we can wind it around again, just to bring the wire towards the center a little bit. If you wanna put another bead on there, you can wind the wire around it, and then bring it up through the top of the cauldron. So we have a couple of wires sticking up here. Adjust the beads how you like. So we want one more steam. It's nice to have an odd number. So we're gonna stick this one up through the top there. And then the other end is gonna come down here. And we're just going to wind it around to secure it along the bottom here. Give it a good little tug and then if you want to make it like even more secure bring it more over to one side and just work your way over to one side the more you wind it the more secure it's going to be so we have this one this one and this one and if you want to adjust these just rotate it with your finger and then this one too if you do want to do another bead we can take this other bead here slide it in there and just wind the wire around. This is really a question of taste uh, to see how you like the look of it. And then this one you could twist it back down there or you can simply clip off the end and just make sure it's tucked in there flush. We have what looks like a bunch of little bubbles and we can make them into spirals or we can just simply make them into steam. So we're just going to take this, go back and forth and back and forth. There, this one too. Push it to the side, back and forth. Like that. And then this one too. This one's not very long, so we're just going to have a little bit less to work with here. For this, for this one, you can always clip these if you want, or we can hold this, bring this one around. I would wind it around a couple of times, and we can make a loop at the top to hang it as a pendant. Otherwise, you can hang it right in the handle. So around here, and then we'll just wind it around here a couple of times too. Clip it, pinch it in place, and here to make it more secure as a pendant, I would just bring these ends around here, pinch it, and then this one to bring the end around, pinch it, and push it in place. Adjust these how you want. You can push them together a little more. You can push some higher than the others. Just play around with it till you like the composition. And there you have your super cute beaded cauldron pendant. So thanks so much for watching the video. Give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your wire art and jewelry, be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I also have a mailing list, so if you'd like to submit your email, I will send you my free Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.